Hey chess players, this is Ben Rothschild with Chess Kings Nonprofit. Over the years I've gotten requests for more videos, so I've updated the format to provide you with more content. So, the Knight's Tour is a puzzle where you use a knight and you move to every square on the board at least once. There are a lot of ways to solve this puzzle, and I'm going to go through one type of solution that I know, which you can use to apply to starting on any square of the board. The method that I'm going to talk about today is going to be the quadrant method. If you want to practice this puzzle over the board and you have two chess sets, each chess set is 32 pieces, and if you place pieces on every square of the board, then you can use the knight and capture every piece on the board. I'm also including a worksheet and a link in the description below, and if you want to practice this solo, you can use the worksheet, and if you have two people, you can practice this blindfold, which I think is fun. The quadrant method is involving using four different patterns. Each of them is a different type of loop, and each of them exists on the quadrant independent of each other. They're either diamond-shaped circles or they're square-shaped circles, and you're going to use two of each. And so you're going to go to all four quadrants using one of the patterns, and then you're going to go to the next quadrant using a new pattern, and you're going to do this four times. We're starting on B1. So I'm going to leave pieces on each square of the board that I've been to so you can track my progress. So in this position, we can either go to any of these squares on the new quadrant, and we have to use one that aligns with the pattern. So here we can either go to e3 or to h2, but we have to end on a square that we're going to be able to move to the next quadrant. So knight h2 is the correct move. Now we're going to the third quadrant and we're moving the knight to f5. So here we can either move to c8, c6, or d5, but we have to move to a square that aligns with the pattern. So knight c8 is the correct move. So in this position, we can either move to a7 or to d6, but I'm going to choose a7. So now we've moved to 16 out of 64 squares on the board, and we're going to use the next type of pattern and move to a new quadrant. We're going to use a diamond-shaped circle now. I'm going to play knight to f7. So now we can either move to e5 or to h8, but we want to move to the square where we will be able to move to a new quadrant. So the correct move is knight to h8. So now we can either move to d7 or to c6, but we want to move to a square where we will be continuing the pattern of the diamond-shaped circle. So I'm going to choose knight to c6. So here we can either move to d8 or to a5, but we want to move to d8, so we end on a5. So here we can either move to e2 or to f3, but we want to continue using the pattern, so knight to f3 is the correct move. Here we can either move to e1 or to h4, but if we move to e1, then we will end on h4, and then notice that all of the squares from h4 we've already been to. So we have to move to h4 first, so we end on e1. So now we've been to half the squares on the board. 
And we're going to move to a new quadrant using a new pattern, which will be another square shaped circle. So here we can either move to b4 or to c1, but the correct move is going to be knight to c1, so we end on b4. So here we can either move to a6 or to d5, but the correct move will be knight to a6. So here we can move to e4 or to e6. I want to move to the top right quadrant, so the correct move here is knight to e6. So now we've gone to three-fourths of the board. If you want to pause the video, you can try to solve the rest of it here. And so now we're going to use the diamond-shaped circle, and we're going to move to the top left quadrant. Great job. You finished the Knight's Tour. So this method will work starting from any square on the board. And so in this case, we actually started on B1 and we ended on G7. And so this is called an open circuit method. The closed circuit method is when you end on a square where you can move to that square from the start square. So let's say you started on B1 and you ended on A3. That would be the closed circuit method. Mathematicians have been studying the Knight's Tour puzzle and have found that for the closed circuit method, there are actually 26 trillion solutions. For the open circuit method, mathematicians have found that there are potentially unlimited solutions. Here's a look at the finished product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and make sure to like and subscribe.